Hello, hello, welcome back. Um, I hope you all enjoyed your hangover cures and everyone's feeling a lot better for um, being drunk all day. Uh, today, we're going to look at an after work classic. We've all had a long, hard day in our homes, wishing we could escape. Um, and it's nice to unwind with a really beautiful classic cocktail. So we're going to do a sidecar today. We've got a lovely prepped one um, in front of you. Now, this is slightly different because we're actually going to start by preparing our glass. So you want to get a bit of lemon and wipe it quite generally around the edge of the glass. Doesn't really matter, it's a bit messy, it's all right. All the way around the glass. And then you've got a little dish of sugar. Uh, I'm using Denby, but you can use whatever tat you've got lying around at home. And you just work round until you've sugared the whole rim. Um, now, I don't usually sugar my own rim. Usually the barman does it for me. But for the sake of the demonstration, I shall sugar my rim for you. Um, we'll pop that there to one side. Can you see that? Move the culture up there. Pop that there to one side. Um, and then we're going to pour the main ingredients to the mixer. Now, the main base for this is um, brandy. Uh, I had to go out and get some brandy because brandy is a spirit I won't have in the house. Uh, chiefly because I will drink it, and I will drink it like water. Um, and when I do drink it like water, I want to die the next day. So I just don't allow it apart from Christmas times when it's okay to be drunk for two weeks solid. Um, so we're just using this cheap old stuff that I managed to get. It's perfectly nice. We'll stop in about two measures. You sort of get an eye for it after a while, and you can work out what two measures looks like, uh, certainly for these glasses. And then we'll do one measure of Cointreau. Uh, Cointreau, that beautiful orangey taste one of those and then we're going to use um, one of uh, lemon so I, I don't juice my own lemons do I wait right there I shall be back I was about to juice my own lemons which is something I simply won't do so we're gonna have to use a measure for this because I don't want too much of it it's really unpleasant if you do get too much of it um, so you want one measure of lemon goes in. There, lovely. All your ingredients in there and you can see that there's quite a complex range of flavours there. Very acidic, um, which is why we have the sugared rim. It takes the edge right off. This is another one where you're going to want it to be cold. So I'm afraid we've got quite a bit of shaking today. Um, but it looks absolutely beautiful. Um, while we're shaking, one of the things that you would have done is prepare some um, decorations. So we've got some lovely little slivers of lemon there, which I've delicately carved off the lemon myself. Um, and that will go inside and just make it look really beautiful. Actually, the decoration and how cocktails look is really important. You know, otherwise we just slosh out some cheap, oh, I don't know, gin, and nothing really. Domestos, and we wouldn't worry because we wouldn't care how it looks. So this is about making a bit of an effort and just trying to do it all a bit more nicely. Um, by the way, it doesn't stop you being an alcoholic, it just makes you middle class. That is nice and cold, my fingers are going numb. So we're going to pour that into the glass with my beautifully sugared rim. And I hope that my eye is still as good as it used to be. Oh, fantastic. fantastic. You can see this one's just touching the rim. Um, and then you take the lemon and you want to twist it round like that and just pop it into the middle of the drink so it unfolds nicely. And there you have a beautiful lemony brandy side culture. Let me try now. Oh god, that's absolutely phenomenal. It's probably one of my favourite drinks. And if you work round each gulp, you get a little bit of a sugared rim, which is always nice. Um, thanks so much for your time. Uh, we'll be trying something new tomorrow. I'm going to do one every single day until the end of April, which is when I kind of run out of my knowledge of uh, cocktails. But up till then, I've got 25 in the bank that I know off by heart that I can do for you. So um, uh, look out for them and I'll hopefully speak to you soon. Bye.